it's giving I'm 45 in Italy going to a dinner party that my ex-fiance is gonna be at. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be styling pajamas so that they're presentable. I'm actually doing this video as a challenge for myself based on a real life situation that I ran into while I was studying abroad in Italy. In the United States, it is very normal to go around, you know, especially if you're in college or something, literally wearing pajama pants and a sweatshirt. And if you know anything about European fashion, that is the one place you cannot dress whack. And so when I had to rush out the door one day for a field trip I was going on with one of my classes and I had barely any clean clothes, I had to whip something together with what I had. I'll tell that full story once I show you guys that outfit. So yeah, I wanted to take more of my pajama pieces and try and make high quality wearable outfits with them. Trying to like dress them up as much as I can. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm going to move this chair. Okay, so here is the story behind the Italy outfit. On a rainy day before class, I didn't have much of anything to wear. We were going to a church or a museum or something as a field trip. So like I had to, I mean, you always have to look good in Europe, but like especially to a church, like I really had to look nice, I think. And if you've been to or live in Italy, you know that they don't have any dryers for their clothes. As it gets colder, it's harder to have the windows open to let stuff dry because my exchange school literally didn't let us hang anything outside because if it fell, we would never get it back. Especially as it was raining too. There are no screens on the windows, so there's like nothing to prevent the water from getting in or literally from a giant gust of wind just blowing all the rain in your house. I was running out of clothes to wear because I couldn't wash them. And so for this field trip, I had to put together something that was presentable with what I had to work with. I put together this outfit with literally just a ring and some earrings, not even any earrings in my second piercing because I was rushing. And so here is the finished look. I think it's good in a pinch. I really do. I mean, this is a little shirt that I bought. At, I set the tripod up for my shoes and I didn't say this next part yet. So I'm just like, <laughs> um, I bought this shirt at a pajama store in Italy. And so this is literally a pajama shirt. Um, I like these shoes, very versatile, but yeah, next outfit. Okay, so this is literally a sleep romper that somebody got me as a gift. Hopefully you can see this. Ooh, it's risky on top. It's not like super fitted, so I'm gonna adjust the um, straps a little bit and the um, there's a little like bow, not a bow tie, a freaking drawstring <laughs> around my, um, it's like an empire waist situation. So I'm gonna make some adjustments and come back. Okay, I think this is a lot better for reference. I like tightened this and I tightened the straps a little bit. Yeah, I think this is better. I'm gonna add this. This, I think, I'm like looking in the monitor. Monitor, be for real. In my mirror, because it's behind my camera so I can see what's on like the screen. <laughs> Ooh, I have a really pretty moon tarot necklace, like tarot card necklace that I'm gonna put on with this one second. See, I like this. I think the neckline of the romper is low enough to wear this. It's just a really nice look. Um, okay, silver is the name of the game. Cause I was thinking to myself, I'm like, oh, what if I did like silver pearl earrings in my second piercing and then like silver hoops in the first? And I'm like, mm. I mean, I could try it. Okay, so I did just one ear to check it out. And I just think the pearl's too big. If it was smaller, I think it'd be cute, but it just kind of looks weird. I'm gonna do this instead. If these transitions I'm doing to like, try and make it look cool and nice and they're like not reading, I'm sorry. 
I'm gonna add this ring. I honestly love it. I got it from an antique store. Wait, should I do like the makeup guru thing? Hang on. Like, I got this at an antique store. I don't know if it's in focus or not. Um, it's hematite. Okay, I actually like it on my right ring finger. What do you call this? I feel like, because I'm getting a vibe so far. I feel like this is witchy softcore. I'm honestly digging it. We gotta do shoes and a handbag now, which I thought maybe this could be a moment. I literally bought this years ago and I, I never wear it, I never use it. I mean, I think it could be a moment with this, maybe, because I mean, with my other bags, I just don't think it'll be enough. I'll, I'll bring them up, they're downstairs. This, which is like an optional little coach um, crossbody, if I take these long straps off, it's just a cute little handheld like this, but the hardware is gold for all of my fashion girlies. <laughs> all of my other hardware and my accessories are silver and this is gold. So like, if I didn't have any other options, I mean, it wouldn't be that big of a deal, but I do have other options like this. This has silver hardware, but I, I almost feel like it's too simple and, and sleek for something like this. Like, this is so soft. You know what? I am gonna go with the blue. Okay, so next I was thinking, should we do like these trendy, um, it's got a little, I forgot what this edge is called. I'm sorry. These are sheer. My other options would be cream colored crew socks that have a sort of sweatery texture and then full on thigh high socks that are white that aren't as thick as the crew ones. This sweater's an off-white, but it's not as off-white as those crew socks. And I just think the thigh socks will look too heavy. I mean, if it was winter, do you remember those pants that went viral last year where it looks like your leg underneath a sheer black tight, but it's actually leggings for added warmth and sometimes they were lined with fleece and all that. I could do something like that and do like the um, white thigh socks on top of that and then a boot. I think that would actually be pretty cute, like those black ankle boots that were in the um, Italy outfit. But I don't have those leggings and I don't even think I have tights like that. The black sheer ones on their own. So I guess this could be a bit of like a, a fall transition outfit. <laughs> See, I like these. Don't mind my microphone wire. Um, I like these. So I think we got to move on to shoes now. So right off the bat, I'm thinking that my black platform Mary Janes might be the obvious choice. I don't wanna wear sneakers, that's gonna be too much white because if you've seen my other videos, my other styling videos, I like to sandwich colors. So if my socks are like an off-white color, I want the shoes to be dark so that it's the most cohesive with the main piece being the romper. I don't have any blue shoes to go with um, the bag. I was also thinking maybe the little like black block heels that I have with two straps. I think we've seen that on the runway before where like the models are wearing socks with like strappy heels. I'm gonna go downstairs where my shoes are and we're gonna try a few. I think these could be a moment, but I don't know. Okay, so here are the Mary Janes. And I could also do these stilettos, but I don't know if that's the vibe. With a different outfit, I think these would be super cute. Specifically with the socks. I've never paired these together before. There's also these, which I kind of like. It's like a little T-strap houndstooth moment. But I really think that this texture and this print really clashes with the print of the romper. Again, just not the vibe. <laughs> okay, so this is the look. I like it. It turned out cooler than I expected. I figured out all of the accessories and everything with you guys. When I had this laid out before filming, I only had the romper and the cardigan and I wasn't even sure if the cardigan would look good. So I'm like, mm. but I really like it, honestly, it's cute. Lighting in front of here is better, so I just wanted to give a full outfit look over here as well. E next outfit. Okay, so this next outfit is actually one that I have worn before and love. This is a pajama shirt. I literally just threw it together one day a few months ago and ah! Can you guess what aesthetic it is? It's Elena Gilbert core. Here is... Um, 
the accessories. I love this necklace. I added this to the whole ensemble last minute and I'm so glad I did. I mean, look at this bezel that it's in. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm pretty sure I got this from some type of art show. I got some boot cut pants and I wish I had black Converse, but I don't. So I thought I'd keep it nice and, you know, cohesive and clean white shoes with this white little peekaboo uh, lace cami. Yes, this is the look. On to the next outfit. So next up we have these Constellation joggers. They come in at the ankles and they're a cotton material. I'm gonna try and dress these up as much as what makes sense, but it would be easier to do that and use different types of pieces surrounding it if these were a different material like silk or satin. So I have this tight um, t-shirt crop top that has like a little, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the um, screen. It's like a, um, a crisscross sort of dealio. Same fabric, all black. It makes it look cohesive and sleek, I think. I kind of want to accessorize to the gods with this, but I don't know what I'm going to do because like, the thing about this crew neck is that I don't have any long necklaces. The ones that I do have are too long and are like colorful and don't fit the vibe of what I'm trying to go for with this outfit. I feel like I shouldn't really mix my metals for this. I think I'm gonna go silver. I do have this really cool arm bangle that I literally made in a jewelry class at, um, I almost said the name of my school. You think I'm dumb? You think I'm dumb? At my community college. I could buff it up with sandpaper to make it look nicer, but I mean, I don't even think that if this was a sleeveless top, maybe, but this is like short sleeve. Yeah, okay, this is how it's meant to be worn. I don't know. It might be too heavy, like I said, for the style of the shirt. I'm gonna do some bangles for sure. I have these rings, but I almost feel like this one would be a little too much. And I feel like this one is too fancy. Okay, so I found these. I think I like these better. I made this in that same class I was referencing earlier. I made it so that it fit above my um, knuckle like this. This watch used to be my great grandmother's. So I kind of like this with this too. I think like with the other accessories I have going on and I am gonna wear my hat with this too. Maybe I just won't do a necklace at all. I already know what shoes I'm going to wear. I did see these in my closet, but I don't know, I almost feel like it'll be a little too much. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot about earrings. I'm gonna wear, if you can see these, these. Okay, here's the finished look. E -e -e with these boots. I like it, I don't know, it's a little, Maybe it's a little plain, but the point is that it is presentable. Going with an all black outfit is always a classic move. And if anything, the print on the pants make this look a little bit more interesting. On to the next outfit. Okay, so this next outfit actually showcases this silk robe that I thrifted in Kentucky somewhere. <laughs> I did a couple different trials with this off camera. I tried to make it into like a top but because it's um, got some fabric down here it comes down to my knees if I really wanted to transform it or upcycle it into a top I would have to cut it and hem it it was just way too bulky when I tried to tie it and mess with it the way that it is so bear with me I'm gonna wear it as a skirt I literally took a picture of how I folded it and like wrote in text instructions step by step for myself later so that I didn't forget how to do this. <laughs> Basically, I'm gonna lay it flat and then fold it twice so that it's like just one long strip at the top with the um, sleeves making a T shape. I'm gonna put it on like an apron, tie it in the back and then do some pinning and doctoring so that it's a nice skirt. Okay, I literally just tied it once back here and I have this safety pin so that I don't have to tie it twice. I wanna just like tie it once and then tuck this under kind of like this. I also wanna say that I have worn this robe as like just a shawl. I'll put that picture here if I find it, but I just thought that was too easy. I wanted to try something new. Okay, so literally here it is. It's a little midi length skirt. Don't mind my uh, mic wire. Um, okay, 
I'm gonna do a little 360. I was like folding and tying and folding and tying and pinning just to like prove to you how it actually looks because I'm not trying to call anybody out. I feel like sometimes when people try and wear stuff the wrong way, like they don't show all the angles. So like, of course it's gonna look good like this, but you don't see what's going on back here. I feel like it looks as good as it's gonna get. Okay, so with the top, I kind of played around with quite a few different ones. I have a black tube top, I had a black corset. Um, I didn't like the corset because it had like boning and it sort of clashed with, like the boning was closer together than the lines and the stripes on the skirt here. So I just thought that looked weird. The tube top was all right, but I honestly, because of the material of the skirt especially, I just really wanted to try and give this like a classy, almost going out look. I don't know, once we accessorize this, guys, I'm telling you, it's giving, I'm 45 in Italy, going to a dinner party that my ex-fiance is gonna be at. That is so specific, but <laughs> I just, I wanted this to look nice, you know? And I feel like this top with the little, um, like ruffles on the sleeves, it just like really pulls it all together really nicely, I think. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it simple with the accessories. Simple but effective. Okay, we have this gold chain without any pendant on it. This simple gold chain bracelet. And I honestly like these earrings together. I think they're cute. And so for the sake of creativity and using the whole garment, I was considering using this tie as a headband. I don't know how it's gonna look. We're gonna find out together. Okay, I feel like I definitely had to rotate it around so that the tie part was underneath my hair and not at the top of my head because it was a little floppy. I think this is nice. I think it's tasteful and it really like ties in everything. Gonna do this little faux fur bag just because it's so fun and some strappy heels. Okay, so here is the final look. I really, really love how this turned out. Okay, that is it for today's video. I honestly really like how the outfits turned out. That didn't go as I expected it to, in a good way. This was a nice little challenge for myself. I don't know, I don't know if anybody else has done it. I didn't really look into it before filming this, but let me know, I got an idea. Should I do lingerie next? I have a lot of pretty pieces that I've honestly worn out before. <laughs> so maybe I can showcase some of those outfits and challenge myself by making some new outfits with other pieces. Let me know in the comment section. If you liked this video, found it fun, entertaining, please go ahead and give it a like. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel already, think about it, do it if you want. Wishing you a great rest of your day and I'll see you soon.